the prime minister when I was in university. Mm. While you'd had, already gotten the seat, or it was before? I had just been elected yes. as the president of Sonu. We were called chairman then. And then uh, someone, an old Mzee, called Odote, Mzee Odote, mm. watched me. And when he watched me, he called him and said, have you seen this young man? Mm. This young man needs mentorship. Mm. And I remember the former MP for Nyakach then, who ended up serving now with me as CAS, as fate would have it, mm. Honorable uh, Peter Odoyo, reached out for me through another gentleman who was like a father to me called uh, Joseph Ogendo, Owino. And they said, we need to take you to see the Prime Minister. And when I went there, I interacted with him. And from that point on, Raila became like a father to me. Wow. More than just a political mentor, he became a father. He clicked me under his wing. I left university. He gave me a stint as a youth advisor in his office. Mm. I wasn't paid by government, yeah. but he ensured that I had a decent take home. Mm. He listened to me. Mm. He then gave me opportunities, just gave, gave me wings to fly. Mm -hmm. I remember he wrote me a very good letter that would later earn me an opportunity to have my scholarship, my evening scholarship. Mm -hmm. And I went to the UK and it was quite an experience. So he has been a mentor in many facets. I would tell you about Raela on days on end. And, and I think I admire so many things about him. And that's truly, truly the man he is. Mm -hmm. So for me to have a front row seat to experience this great man has been a blessing. Mm -hmm whether it's business. I remember one time I was having a chat with him and then he laughs and says, if you want to do big business, you will know that borrowing is sometimes a component of your growth. Yeah. But you must think big. When you think big, you can borrow big and do big. You can do bigger things and achieve more. So if you go looking for a million shillings in a bank, they will look at you and say, is this the idea that wants to transform into a multi-billion idea? Mm -hmm. But if you borrow a billion shillings and you can show them a business plan for it, and you can tell them how it will turn around, everyone's going to respect you. Yeah. So there have been a huge lot of lessons. He's been a great mentor in that phase. But, you know, I've also had people like Julius Kimgetich, yes. who is my yes. to-go-to, you know, yeah. person. Uh, and... and Whenever I have a mind block running business, when I need organizational, strategic management lessons, I run to Kip Ngetich. And Kip Ngetich became a mentor from when I was in university. Uh, you also just bumped into him Today, or you're the one I who bumped into approached? him. <laughs> there are two people who have transformed how I think and look at life, but I bumped into them, both of them, in one event. Mm. I went for an event which was known as the European Development Days yes. event. It was done at the then Hilton Hotel. And I was invited as a speaker for young people. Yeah. There, I would meet Houghton Irungu, who was then the director for Pan-African program of Oxfam. And there, I would meet Julius Kim Ngetich. Houghton Irungu straight up hired me into Oxfam. Mm. I joined him. I became a, a governance associate, worked with him. He mm. would walk with me to all oh. meetings with who is who in the city. Mm. Interesting. He so taught he had... me ethics. Mm. You know, this is how you do things, David. Treat yourself this way. Come to work early. Have a set of, you know, mm. be disciplined. If you're not disciplined, there will be no results. Mm. This is how you write uh, Proposals, journals. Yeah. Wow. Refine. And then there was Julius Kim Ngatich, mm. who was working more on my leadership side. Mm. And when I moved to business, because mm. he's very successful in that sector, has been a very great guide for me. Before even we go on a break, just maybe in just probably a, a, a sentence, because you know, there's always, we talk about mentorship, yeah. but mainly like from just listening to you, I've been able to harness your mentorships or rather your mentors. Yeah. So for anybody just watching this, how can you best go about choosing your mentors and how can you best harness it? In just maybe a few words before going on a break. Identify someone you admire, but who has credibly risen to that point. Mm. Credible. Credibility is everything. We are in a world where today we admire all these other funny characters, wash, wash, name them, yes. because they, 
drive your Rolls Royce mm. or they drive all this, you know, they live the high life. But when you get down to asking, how did you make it here? Yeah. Then they start blubbering. True. Once you choose someone who is credible and you admire, seek them out actively because they are busy and they have millions of people. But True. it also then means you must demonstrate distinction. True. You must show that you have this rare passion and that your passion is not just about talk, that your passion is tempered with the right things. Mm. You have a passion for growth, a passion for learning. You do not know it all. You're disciplined. You are focused. And as I always tell people, do your do, do it right, because someone's always watching. Wow. So if they go and try